Hello everyone. Today let us uh, look at uh, some possibilities when it comes to creating a cross project release in uh, Jira. Now, this was basically one of the question asked on the community recently and uh, I thought I'll uh, show you how it can be done and I'll also talk about uh, some of the possibilities when it comes to cross project releases. Now this was one question asked by David and David Thomas ask, is asking about uh, I have multiple projects feeding into mobile app releases and uh, the main question he is asking here is how to create a release or a version in one project and have it uh, synced with uh, a version or a release in uh, another one, another project. Now, I have already answered this question on the community and uh, I also thought of creating a video on this. Now, in Jira, out of the box, you don't really have any feature where you can uh, create a cross-project release. However, you can either use an app or build your own uh, automation or you can use advanced roadmaps. Now, I have talked about uh, advanced roadmaps in my playlist of advanced roadmaps. Of course, you can go and take a look at uh, cross project releases. That is, of course, one key feature uh, of advanced roadmaps. Of not really key for not really a key feature, but it is one of the feature in the advanced roadmap. You can do, of course, quite quite a lot. And of course, you can um, always use your own automation or write some scripts. Today, I'll show you some possibilities using uh, automation rules. So it is very simple, and it makes life uh, a lot easier. You won't be able to do each and everything like it is not really a true thing, but I think you can still achieve quite a lot. So let, let us see. Let us see what all we can do. Now, what I'm trying to do, trying to do here is I'm trying to create a new uh, rule where I am basically using a trigger called version created. Now, when this version is created, you will uh, uh, then be able to do something. So this is, of course, one of the event. And there are other events in case you want to let us say, um, type in here version. So you have some events like uh, version created or uh, let me just type it again. Version created, version uh, version released, version unreleased, version updated. And uh, in our case, what we'll do, we'll basically create a version in one project and then we'll create uh, the same version automatically in uh, another one. So let us select this trigger version created and uh, save it. The next thing that I want to do is I want to, of course, uh, uh, add a condition here that don't run this automation rule for all the projects. I just want to run this uh, rule when the version is created in uh, a project called uh, project with the key called an Android project. This is one of one of the uh, condition that I want to add. Now I'm using this smart key here, smart value smart key, smart value, version.project.key. I'm not really using any uh, any condition that involves issues. For example, if you check here, you have conditions like JQL or advanced compare condition. This will not work because we are not really dealing with any issues right now. Although you can, but in that case, you need to have issue. But right now we are using, uh, we, we are dealing with the uh, versions uh, and versions only. We are not really talking about issues yet issues will come into picture when you create an issue or when you're dealing with some jql for example so right now there is no issue involved so use the smart value here called version.project.key and you can of course fetch uh, other things and uh, other things like name so when this condition is true then it will uh, look for it will basically look for the version name so basically there is there is an action called create a version and you can then uh, uh, th there are some other actions. Let us see what all we can do. So if you type in here, uh, so you can create a version, you can release a version or you can unrelease a version. And to be honest, uh, uh, this is still not bad. I think uh, you, you can still achieve uh, creating a version with the same name and with the same uh, release date and you can define the target project. So let us publish this rule and uh, see how it will work. Um, so what we'll do, we'll go to one of the, uh, we'll go to, we'll go to one of the project, not one of the project, but we'll go to Android project because that is where we want to create a version and I'll monitor the audit log because uh, we want to see 
if this works or not. And of course, uh, we, we will be able to check whether this is working or not by, of course, going to the target project, which is, I believe, BT. And uh, we can see whether, whether a new version is released, not released, but created or not. So let us uh, click on this um, sidebar, if I can. It is taking some time to load. Although I have a decent internet connection, but still. Okay, so let us go to releases and create a new release. Okay, so we can create a new version. And the name of the version could be CPR February because uh, or maybe, yeah, maybe February, uh, why not? You can fill in the start date. Let us say you want to start the work maybe tomorrow and you want to finish it by 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 let us say 28th of february and uh, the moment you save it it will be i mean th there will be an event and it will be handled by that particular rule and let us see if it works so i'll go to the automation rule and by the way my automation is enabled just to just to be sure and uh, we can see the, here a message called success so if i go to the show more operation and if I take a look here it says uh, successfully created version CPR February which is great and we can um, then go to the target project which is BT the bug tracking and uh, I will then go to the releases and then I'll see if uh, we have a new version or not although the rule says it it sh it has worked but I prefer checking everything just to be 101% sure about uh, this automation that it is indeed working as we wanted it to work and why it is not working because I need to go to the as compared to server you have to be a bit patient when it comes to navigating on cloud it is not super fast which is obvious because it is I mean you have latency issues and you can't really compare it with server anyways so Go to releases and we have a new CPR February version with the release date that we want. So this is, I believe, a good start in case you want to achieve some kind of uh, automation and you want to basically sync the issues. So I think this is not bad and, uh, and uh, hopefully you learned how to use automation rule to create a version automatically. And in case you're watching this video for the very first time on my channel i do have like plenty of videos on automation and uh, and uh, in case you want to learn automation on jira cloud do take a look at uh, the playlist so that is all i wanted to talk about in this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you also learned something new today thank you very much